Hi guys, in this video, let us solve a couple of problems. And the first problem is called as insert at the end of a stack. So if you open this problem, this link implement method to insert an element at the bottom, it will directly lead you to this stack overflow page where somebody has already explained the code. I mean, not explained, he has written the code. So I will just take some moment to explain what exactly is happening. So let us see, actually we have done this, you know, inserting at bottom, we have done it already in sorting a stack and even reversing a stack, I guess. I'm not so sure, but yeah, we have already done this. So let us again, see it. For example, if we have the stack elements like this, if the stack elements are four, three, two, one. So if this is the stack, okay. So if this is the stack and I want to insert an element X equal to five, but it should be at the bottom. So what should I do? So I should practically remove each and everything. So I have to remove four and then apply this same operation on the remaining part of the stack. So after removing top element, let me apply the same operation. What is the same operation here? Operation is to insert this element at the bottom, right? So I will pop out the top element. So this top element over here will be popped out. Then for the remaining part of the stack, I will apply the same operation. So remaining part is three to one. So let me pop out three also. Let me pop out two. Let me pop out one. There is nothing else to pop out. So when there's nothing else to pop out, I will push five. This element five, I will push. But now most important is in which order should I put back the elements? In which order should I put back the elements? In the reverse order in which it was popped out. So first four was popped out, then three, then two, then one. So one should be put back, for, it should be put uh, back first, then two, then three, then four. So one will come, then two, then three, then four. How will this happen? How will this happen? This reverse order of putting back the elements, you can make use of recursion. So this is where recursion will come into play, wherein it will help us push back all the top elements that were removed in the reverse order. Because ultimately you don't want to change this order. This order should be the same, except that this element five should come at the bottom. So I'll just tell the code now. So what this person has done is also the same thing. If stack becomes empty at any point of time, then push back the element X, not push back, sorry, push the element X, which I did over here with element five. Otherwise take the top element. So in Java stack dot peak is equal to stack dot top, top peak means top only. So take the top element, store it in some variable, take the top and store it in some variable. So over here it is care. It doesn't matter in care. Ultimately logic matters, right? So we are taking the top element, remove the top element from the stack as we did over here. See, we removed four. Then we apply the same algorithm to the remaining part of the stack. So we are using recursion over here. So to the remaining part, we are saying insert at bottom X only. We should insert X only. Ultimate goal is insert this element X. After all the recursive calls happen, we are pushing back the top elements. See, A contains top element and we are pushing back in the reverse order. So reverse order means what? One will go first, then two, then three, then four. So this is simple use of, uh, what is it called? First in, last out. So first in, last out. So Whenever you're solving stack problems, this only is very helpful. Only one property is extremely helpful and that's why it is easy only. Most of the time stack is easy. Problem will only be in getting to know the logic, how to use this, that's all. So ultimate problem over here would be if anybody is facing is with this recursive call. 
So recursion is very important to understand. You can check out Abdul Bari's video. He has done it extremely well. I have learned it there only. Okay. That was first problem of today. Second problem is somewhere over here that I want to do. Check if all levels of two trees are anagrams. Check if all levels of two trees are anagrams. How to do this problem? So what does it mean? So let us take two trees. Let us take examples and see what the problem statement is saying. So let us say uh, tree number one. I'll bring myself here. And uh, let us say tree number two. So if tree number one is something like this, And tree number two is something like this. So you can see that at each and every level. So this level, all the elements are anagram. What is anagram? Anagram means uh, it contains the same elements, but in jumbled form. It can be jumbled form or in the same order also. See this level, second level over here, second level for this, the second level is three, two for this, it is two, three. Similarly, you can compare last level. So that is what we have to say. Does all the uh, level contain anagram? So whenever anagram problem, we used to do anagram uh, in strings. Basically we did anagram in strings. We used either sorting method or we used hashing method. So in sorting method, what we were doing, we were basically sorting the two strings S1 and S2, and we used to compare after we apply sort operation. If both of them are the same, it is anagram, otherwise it is not, okay. Now what about hashing? Hashing basically where we were using, if you can remember, hashing we were using uh, when uh, some lowercase English alphabet, or uppercase English alphabet, something like that. We were making an array of length 26, or even if this was not there, we were just using hash map. So this problem also can be done like that only because you already know level order traversal. I have already explained level order traversal in binary search, a binary tree part only, long back. So by level order traversal, you all know, if you keep extra map, so it might take O of n space. If you keep extra map, you can easily solve this in O of n time. So O of n time and O of n space also can be done. But what they have uh, done in this article, what have they done in this article is for level order traversal, they are making use of Q. So they are taking two Qs and they are doing level order traversal. They are doing iterative level order traversal. And they are also making use of sort, but sort it might take n log n. I don't know. I think in this, these kind of problems, n value is small only most of the time. So that is why they have assumed like that. But again, it would be always better to use hashing concept. So problem is very simple. Just do level order traversal, store all the elements in the queue. After you store the elements in the queue, just put it into two arrays and sort them and check if they're equal or not. That is how you find out if all the things are same. If you want to apply sorting method, otherwise directly use hash map and do level order traversal with that recursive function that I had discussed. So please watch those videos. It is quite a long time since I have done. So please do watch that. I have explained over there only. See this problem, you can code it. I don't have any, I don't think anyone will feel difficulty if you already know this level order traversal. If you don't know, obviously you will feel. So please watch that video where I have discussed a level order traversal, okay? So please watch that video. And that's all, nothing else. You can look at the code. They're doing the same thing. Basically, they are pushing it into two vectors current level. So they are sorting it over here and uh, you can directly check like this for two vectors. So they are doing that only same thing. They are doing nothing great. 
and you can also do it so i have just explained everything and i hope you have understood okay that's all for this video i hope you liked it hit the like button it will really motivate me subscribe it will even more motivate me share it with all your friends it might benefit them and uh, comment down below if you are able to see some difference in my presentation because of my tools now so i'm using this so if you find any difference please let me know take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye